Oh, so some time ago I made a video about breaking my Chewy laptop bias, and it's really easy to do. The only thing you have to do to break it is like going here to South Bridge and changing the OS selection to any other things in this list and some people uh, thought that uh, you can restore your laptop only by s if you switched to linux some people for example switched to android and think that they broke everything and no it's not true and uh, nowadays bios is not as fragile to break from just one uh, changed setting. So if you for example selected Android here, as long as you can click uh, like it says here F3 and F4, maybe with Fn selected, you can still uh, recover your computer. So for example now I changed here to Android and let's save. Okay, now it it's uh, it's rebooting and now okay. And now it has no uh, screen output. But if you have something connected, for example a keyboard, it still works, because the only thing that is broken is just the BIOS configuration, so as long as you can uh, see on the laptop here a blue or whatever, you will be led that it's turned on, you Okay, for for some reason, the yeah the screen works, but it doesn't work. Yeah, it, so it's broken basically. Um, as long as you can go turn it off, and then. Uh, okay, it's not turning off. Okay, now it's turned off. As long as you can click escape a couple of times to enter BIOS then click F4 uh, no, F F3 uh, left uh, arrow key, enter F4, left arrow key, enter so, okay, it didn't work but maybe it will work with F7 or any other key. Okay, let me turn it off. Yeah, sometimes we have like signs of life. Right now I'm doing it blindly because I don't know what's happening on the screen. Okay. You maybe you will have to press escape for some time like a minute and now let's try to do again the thing and now it has reset it even if you didn't see because I'm recording it in a dark room because I don't want reflections of my face on the screen um, you can see that it's now in recovery mode, basically, uh, and it's working. What I want to say with this video, if you have changed something in BIOS, it doesn't mean that it's completely broken. It, does, it just means that you have to reset your BIOS. Right now I did it blindly, just by clicking escape while it's turning on and then clicking F3 left arrow key maybe it's on yes by default then F4 
and yes to exit. And this means that uh, it works for any setting that you m may change. Maybe you change something, I don't know, here in... No, here no, but, well, because there is no much to change, but let's say CPU configuration and here you maybe disabled some thing. No, here no, but there is a maybe in system component uh, you can change. Uh, no, somewhere you can change even the screen. Um, maybe here output display okay no it doesn't have many options so let's okay let's make it short uh, what I want to say it doesn't mean that you broke something if you don't have a out screen output as long as you can uh, see that it shows some kind of sign of life for example a LED here or I don't know maybe if you connect a Type-C to a HDMI adapter it will show something on the display so here for example yeah it's under chipset if you change primary display to PCIe or HG it may break because it's not the same <sighs> configuration of display or maybe here I don't know, um, maybe even, I don't know, there is a, no, here, no, I don't know, so in short, here, for example, you turned on a touch panel device to some kind of these devices and you have no screen output, but as long as you have a LED, it still works. You can also create a user default. So, for example, uh, you have configured something here. For example, I don't know. You enabled something that you want. Um, and then you want to save it. You can save it as a user default. So then you can restore the user default. If you reset your BIOS by the optimized defaults so for example right now how I did it to demonstrate to you that it still works if I had saved uh, user defaults I will just click here on restored the user defaults and it would work so yeah I think that's all for this video and I think it's a universal video for all of these Chinese laptops. As long as you have the same BIOS, even different BIOSes share the same key combination uh, to like reset uh, BIOS, reset optimized defaults. But even if you have a different BIOS, you can still search on Google your model what bias it has maybe somebody on some kind of platform already made a video about how to reset the bias about how to change the configuration anyways so yeah that's all you can fix it if you have broke something in the bias settings because well, in general, we can, you can think that this OS selection thing works because, well, it's biologic. Maybe you want to install Android, maybe you want to install Linux, and you think, well, if I want to install Linux, then I will select Linux, yeah? But no, it's not how it works. It's more like a CPU configuration and not a BIOS configuration so you can install an OS because these BIOSes are like universal BIOSes so for example you have uh, in my case there is a NVMe configuration 
but this laptop doesn't support NBAB drives only SATA or I don't know uh, somewhere here it has had like a configuration of like something ultrabook Intel ultrabook settings or something like that I don't think I will find it now in short that these BIOSes have a lot of things for example this it says NFC selection but it's clear that I don't have a NFC in this laptop or a GPS module at least I think well maybe some basic module it, no I don't think it yeah I don't think it will, it will get the position by internet but I don't know for example uh, yeah I already told you it's it's very easy to break something here because it's these are universal settings for different uh, laptops that support or not don't support something uh, yeah uh, I can't seem to find now where's the here ultrabook event support for example it's not a ultrabook <laughs> this laptop is far from a ultrabook but and it, it doesn't have any dock functionality like it doesn't it can't as at, at least as I know it can't connect to any special dock so yeah uh, what I want to mean to say with this that these BIOSes are universal and if you break something as long as you know the combination to restore defaults it's still working and even if you don't know the combination maybe you have some kind of repair shop uh, not far from or maybe I don't know somebody that knows IT or some basic stuff and can do something don't at least wait don't throw like ele electronics away just because uh, something in BIOS is broken just wait don't throw anything out onto the trash so yeah that's all now uh, now we should finally it's um, it's all for this video I hope it made something more clear from the last one because the last one I was recording it very like nervous because well, wow I just broke something but I found a way to repair it so yeah here's a video people yeah cool so yeah I hope this video maybe made something more clear from the last one uh, thank you for watching see you next time